Hey guys, what's going on? Back again with another video. So I saw over on Twitter and YouTube, there's a lot of new Advanced Warfare 2 kind of rumors slash clickbait, uh, maybe even wishful thinking uh, videos. And like I said, rumors going around uh, that it's coming in a couple years to Sledgehammer's new game, which is going to be, again, Advanced Warfare 2. But I want to explain to people that um, a lot of the Atlas stuff and it may be quote unquote the Advanced Warfare stuff two uh is already in cod mobile and usually when it's in cod mobile that's a good indicator that it's a storyline that call of duty maybe activision isn't going to go down um or use again down the road again what i'm trying to get to in this video is that the atlas corporation is in cod mobile and uh, it does have a story in COD Mobile, which I believe might kind of tie into Advanced Warfare 2, which is another indicator, again, that it usually means once it's in COD Mobile that you probably won't see it for a while. Uh, again, what, and it's the same people over on Twitter and YouTube that are reporting the same thing because, again, like I've mentioned, and I know people are going to hate me for saying it, but in a way I kind of love being the one to say it anyways. It's all clickbait. Uh, I'm not saying necessarily I'm exposing people because I'm not going to explain any. I mean, I'm not going to mention any of the names. But as you see in the distance, it kind of looks like the Moon Dome, but it's not. Uh, the Atlas Corporation built this city inside COD Mobile uh, Battle Royale. And it's actually really cool. And it's actually very kind of like disrespectful to the devs that uh, a lot of them put work into making these games, and because people just want to cash in on YouTube, they kind of discredit everything that goes on um, all over Call of Duty because you know they they just want to cash in on it. They just want to you know get clout or maybe you know gain clout, whatever, on Twitter and YouTube. But again, as you're seeing now, if I don't die, because that's going to be super embarrassing. I'm trying to make it over to the. Um, the city that Atlas Corporation built, uh, I, I myself 100% don't know the backstory to it as far as uh, why they built the city. But again, the reason I'm mentioning it is once you see stuff in COD Mobile, like we saw Primus, uh, we saw Misty and some of the Victus crew and Atlas Corporation, it more than likely means it's never going to come back to the premium game. Uh, I know people are going to argue, well, Raul Menendez is in it, but it doesn't have a story. Raul Menendez is just in uh, COD Mobile uh, as a little bit of a story, and in Warzone and Vanguard as a little bit as a, an Easter egg or just stuff in the item shop. There's no like campaign story. There's no game pretty much based around it i know in cold war people are going to argue while well, he was in cold war but he really wasn't in cold war he maybe was mentioned a little bit um but as you can see that i'm entering now atlas corporation built this city which which looks awesome and that's kind of like the insulting part is look at all the work that went into making this and people are going to um <laughs> pretend like this never happened and just to kind of gain clout and again, I'm doing it because of the same reason that they're doing it. You make money off of doing clickbait and, and stuff like this. But uh, what I'm really going to do is just kind of show you around the Atlas Corporation city that they built. Um, again, I don't know exactly 100% the story behind it as far as why they built the city uh, and stuff like that. But there is a Atlas Corporation slash Advanced Warfare story Um that's in COD Mobile, which is a good indicator, again, like I said, that um, more than likely they're done with that story. They're not going to uh, go back into it. Um, again, you just kind of, it's a battle royale, and you kind of have to, I guess the whole reason for, if I had to kind of maybe come up with an idea or kind of piece stuff together, is the fact that this, um, Atlas City, I'm going to call it, and I forget the name of it because I think it does actually have a name. The fact that it actually serves a purpose and it's an advanced city within a Battle Royale uh, map that doesn't really fit, which means some... I don't know if it was through time travel, but somehow they put this um, city within the, the COD Mobile lore or you know COD Mobile story. And... When I see stuff on Twitter and YouTube, again, I just want to mention to people, it's the same exact people that are reporting on it. 
that you know it's the same people that are just clickbaiting. Now, I'm not going to say that Call of Duty, Sledgehammer, Raven, you know, Activision, is it going to see the clickbait and be like, hey, uh, that's pretty interesting. Let's let's do a little Easter egg or do something on it. Um, not to say that would never happen, but to say right now that Advanced Warfare 2 is planned for the next Call of Duty in a couple of years, again, the number one telltale sign is the fact that it's the same people that clickbait year year in, year out for the last like 10 years because they're horrible at the game. Um, they crap all over the game because they can't, you know, beat it or, or do whatever or play the zombies mode like what happened in Vanguard because it's too difficult. They need 30 wonder weapons. They need 30 perks. They need perkaholics uh, and, and stuff like that. So uh, I know it's a dead time of the year and maybe because um, even Modern Warfare 2 is getting some hate right now that, you know, hey, let's come up with some new clickbait, something funny that, you know, is going to generate some cash, some views on their videos, some more clout. Uh, you know, the even as the saying goes, negative news or hateful news is better than no news at all. You know, people will take anything they can get to uh, get their channels to like 1 million subs to 2 million subs and stuff like that. So, again, I I like it, though. I kind of see the, the funny or the humor behind it, why people create all types of clickbait. Again, it's the same exact people. Over, and I hate to keep repeating myself and I'm going to myself going to get a lot of hate for exposing people but it's the same people over and over again how comes it's never anybody new um <laughs> over on twitter it's the same people that claim they have inside information none of it ever comes true some of it might come true because the devs and treyarch and call of duty infinity war is going to see some of the clickbait and they're probably going to add it in there as a little bit of an easter egg or a troll themselves um and i'm sorry that i'm in the storm but i wanted to show you again what Atlas has done in COD Mobile uh, that there is kind of a story continued for the Atlas Corporation and it's just kind of starting too it's um, COD Mobile gets a new season every month and there's new content every single month it's not like uh, the premium console games where you get a new content oh, I'm going the wrong way <laughs> you get new content every uh, couple of months like three months you get an, a mid-season update uh, it's not like that. COD Mobile gets updated very frequently, uh, to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to see if I can spawn in maybe a helicopter. I don't know what that is, but let's try that. Um, but again, the Atlas Corporation, very futuristic company, is in COD Mobile. Um, and I'm leaving that location. I'm going to have to swim and I'm probably going to die unless I can find a bridge. Um, but it's fine because I don't want to ramble on too much. I'm just kind of showing people that, um, again, or mentioning that it's the same people over on Twitter that create the same clickbait to generate cash and views. They're, they're not streaming, you know, zombies. They're not streaming Warzone. They're not streaming multiplayer because they're god-awful at the game. So the next best thing to do is just create clickbait, fake news, uh, to have you believe that there's something new and big that are coming, that they're the only one who has the inside information. Um, when I woke up today and I saw it, you know, trending on Twitter and YouTube, uh, it just made me laugh that if people actually, you know, dream up this stuff. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. I'll see you guys later.